I've gone up in weight. Are you fucking kidding me? So that's annoying. I'm up a half pound higher than I was yesterday. Again, normal fluctuation. But, uh, yeah. Annoying nonetheless. I don't know, maybe I have been overeating potatoes because they taste good. But I don't think I have, and I've only been, I haven't been adding any fats or anything like that, so the whole thing is bewildering. Although, it's telling me that maybe my weight is fine where I'm at, and that I'm just maintaining, I don't know. I was expecting to like shed a couple pounds on this thing. You know what, I'm only halfway through, and I dedicated myself to doing it, so let's do it. I had my, my hash brown omelet this morning because we were leaving the farm and I don't know if my waffle press will make it very well here, so I decided to uh, to have that one last time just in case I can't have it again until I go back to the farm. In which case the Mary's Mini will be over for me, and I probably won't want that for a little while. Although I imagine I'll have that again at some point. It was pretty good. My wife made a comment last night, made fun of me, about how I was kind of going through recipes and looking for fun stuff to cook over the next couple of days. Uh, and reminded me how, you know, the point of this is to keep it simple and bland and whatnot. And so I took that to heart today. So we're back home in Toronto. I'm gonna keep my lunch simple today because uh, my wife made fun of me and she's probably right. So I'm gonna have some leftover baked potatoes. I think I'm just gonna put maybe some mustard on them, maybe some malt vinegar, and then some raw carrots or something just really, really simple and just listen to my stomach today. You're probably thinking the idea of eating a uh, baked potato cold is pretty gross, but the one thing that's a benefit, and this can work on any of the starches you're on if you're doing the Mary's Mini, uh, the idea of resistant starch, which is essentially cold starch. What's good about it is it can lower your insulin levels or raise them, one or the other, and it basically makes it so you stay satisfied longer. The, the food takes longer to kind of go through your system and burn out. So it, uh, it's good for that way. It helps promote weight loss, I think, if you can handle the, the starch cold, that is. So something you might want to throw in there, here and there. So I'm going to keep on keeping it simple today. Uh, I'm just, I made a giant pot of mashed potatoes. I think I'm going to throw some salsa on there, maybe just a little bit of tomato sauce and some nutritional yeast. And then uh, I have some steamed vegetables that I'm going to maybe put a little balsamic vinegar on, but that's about it. Keeping it simple, because I was making it too fancy, apparently. Uh, I'm kind of bummed that my weight went up a little bit, although it's just normal fluctuation. I'm still down from where I started, but that was up from where I started before that, so the whole thing is interesting and fascinating to me. I'm down. Uh, I've got a pound from yesterday, or more, actually, I think. Uh, again, the fluctuation, but I think it's finally kicking in the little bit of weight loss that I was expecting from this. I wasn't expecting a ton, but I was expecting to shed maybe I don't know, one to three pounds in total. Um, so let's see if that goes. Yeah, I'm feeling good this morning. I'm going to have, I'm feeling tight and I've been working out every day. So I'm just going to have like a light morning stretch and then try something new for breakfast because I've been doing the same thing for pretty much every day because I discovered something I love. If you want to see the recipe for that, uh, you can check out my day one through five recipe. I kind of posted a half-assed version of that. It's also on the website. This morning, I'm just going to put together like a really quick uh, roast potato scramble. So I have some, oh, and the waffle maker's ready. I'm not having those though. The rest of the family is, bastards. So I'm having, uh, I just put some mushrooms and onions in a pan. I'm gonna throw some spinach in there. I'm gonna top it with some salsa. And then I have some just cut up mini potatoes in the air fryer, cooked them at 390 for 10 minutes and that was enough. I put them on for a few more minutes just to get them a little bit hot. I'm gonna throw them in the pan, throw the salsa in, mix it all together, throw some nutritional yeast on top and that's gonna be it. I think it's gonna be good. It's lunchtime. I'm gonna try this recipe that I found online. It's basically, it's called puffed potatoes. I'm taking the mashed potatoes from last night that were left over. I'm just gonna mix uh, three cups of that with like a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. 
I'm gonna roll them into balls, mash them up. Here's a tip, if you wet your hands, uh, it helps make the balls a little easier and they don't stick as much. Put them in the air fryer for 10 minutes. If you don't have an air fryer, you could probably do them in a convection oven around 400 for 12 minutes, 15 minutes, try that. So I ended up cooking them for about 12 minutes in total in the air fryer. I'm also gonna have them with some marinara sauce and I made up a little salad of mostly just veggies, lettuce, carrots, snap peas, a pepper, and I'm just gonna make a really simple dressing of mustard, apple cider vinegar, and balsamic vinegar, and some no salt seasoning. And that's gonna be lunch. So for dinner, I'm gonna whip up this uh, roasted potato salad that's inspired by something that is in the Thug Kitchen cookbook, which is an amazing cookbook. If you haven't checked out Thug Kitchen, God, those guys are geniuses. So I made a completely different mixture than they did. Uh, so first of all, you're gonna wanna cut up some potatoes. I use baby potatoes. You're gonna want about two pounds worth. I threw them in my air fryer. I put them in for about 15 minutes at the highest temperature, which is 400 in mine. I shook them a few times throughout. If you don't have an air fryer, you could cook these in an oven, a convection oven for 400 for probably around 20 minutes. Check it out as it's going along. It might be a little bit longer or shorter. You wanna get them nice and browned. And then for the sauce, here's what I did. I mixed together half an onion with three cloves of garlic, a tablespoon of cumin, chili powder, and paprika, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar, eighth of a cup of lemon juice, and an eighth of a cup of water, and a tablespoon of whole grain mustard. Then I mix that up inside of a magic bullet. If you didn't have a magic bullet, you can just stir the hell out of it. If you don't have a magic bullet, you're gonna wanna chop up the onion really, really fine, and the garlic really fine as well. Uh, but if you have a magic bullet, it makes all the difference. When the potatoes are ready, toss that inside of it, and then let it sit out and just let it marinate over the day. You're gonna wanna make this in advance so it can sit and really soak up the flavors. Store leftovers in the fridge. I don't know if this is getting easier or if I'm just getting used to it. My energy was good all through the day. I didn't find I got hungry before meals at all. Usually like right before the meal I'm ramping up for it, but I felt pretty good. Like I was hungry enough, I wanted to eat, but I wasn't desperately hungry that was so that was good i think i'm definitely curbing my need for snacks which is is great because i i usually find an excuse to have something mid-afternoon or late morning so i'm glad for that tomorrow i'm going to try to do a, a more intense workout i haven't done my weights we're back at home now so i have my big setup here so i'm going to try to do some weights and stuff and hopefully uh you know, the food sustains me and I don't feel weird from it. And if I do, well, I'll course correct. One eighty four. So I'm definitely down now and I did not have a bowel movement this morning. So that tells me I'm losing weight on this thing, which is a nice added bonus, as I've said. So, uh, yeah, I feel good. I feel normal. I'm going to try a bigger workout I'm at home. So I've got my little a little weight set up. It's not much. It's like a dumbbell, um, a medicine ball. I've got some stretch bands in the house, a yoga mat. That's really it. I was going to the gym for uh, like a year or so, and then I realized most of my, my workout I could just do with my body weight or with like a couple pairs of dumbbells from home. So I really recommend that if you want to get into to home workouts. There's some great channels out there. I really like HasFit. Uh, you can take their things free on YouTube, but you can also pay a very small fee to have their app that helps you track things. I also like Sean Vig Fitness for yoga. Uh, there's also Yoga by Adele or Adrenaline. I don't know. Look her up. She's got like 2 million followers. I'm sure you know who she is. Um, and that's part of my daily routine. I do something, small or big, every morning. So I'm hoping I have enough energy to do this workout. It's a, it's a weight workout that's apparently burning four to 500 calories. So that might, that might do me in. I'll let you know later on how that goes with all of this. 
So workout was good, it kicked my butt and I was tired at the end of it, but that's kind of normal for a big workout like that. So for breakfast, I'm taking leftover mashed potatoes. I took about three cups, I mixed it with a third of a cup of nutritional yeast. I threw a little bit of water in there just to bring back the mashed potatoes. Uh, threw them on a waffle iron. I'm gonna see how long it takes to cook. I'm still cooking them, so I don't know yet. My thought is I'm gonna top them with a couple cups of peas because that'd be a workout, I want some protein, and peas have a ton of protein. That's why they use them, the protein, the pea protein in Beyond Burgers, and all those kind of products. So, and then I think I'll top it with like a, a mixture of my cheese sauce and marinara sauce heated up. And that'll be that, that'll be my breakfast. So it's been 10 minutes for the waffle, uh, potato waffle. I'm a little nervous, but let's try it out. Oh yeah, that's a disaster. Uh, okay. I can see if I can't salvage something out of this. Breakfast did not go as planned. I was hoping it would work just like the one at the farm did, where I didn't have to use any oil, but clearly this one would have needed it. You know what, that breakfast didn't turn out nearly as bad as I thought it would. It was still crispy and crumbly and great. So just instead of being like, a waffle with stuff on it, it became more like a scramble, but it was still good. I obviously won't make it again, but these things happen. Experiments in food. Lunch today is gonna to be super simple. I'm just gonna have my leftover roasted potato salad, and I'm also gonna make like a big salad to go with it. Someone was asking me the other day what I do for a salad dressing that doesn't have any fat or anything in it. So all I literally do is put together a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of mustard, some no salt seasoning. I mix that together and I put it over everything and that's it. If it's too thick for you, add a little more water, but I like it as a basic dressing. But add any other spices. You wanna kick it up, throw some chili powder or cayenne pepper in there or something like that. It's good to go. I didn't feel crappy at all today. I felt really, really good all day. In fact, by the time I came around to making supper, I wasn't even really all that hungry. Though I felt a little bit backed up. I took the dog for a big walk while my, my dinner was cooking in the Instant Pot. And then by the time I came home, I went to the bathroom and then I was ready to go. Sorry for those details, but I think it's kind of important that um, I went from being not hungry at all to going to the bathroom and then being like, I need supper. And so what I made was this really simple potato curry that I found on the Plant Gals website. Uh, you can see it here, I'll also put a link below to give her a shout out. It was really simple. It was just basically potatoes, carrots, cauliflower, veggie stock, some curry, and fenugreek. Um, cooked in the Instant Pot. The whole thing was ready from the time I started chopping veggies to the time it was in my mouth in less than an hour. So it was kind of a perfect meal. Really, it took 10 minutes to throw together and then the Instant Pot spent the next half an hour doing its job. So if you're looking for a really quick meal that you can just throw in and walk away from and come back to later, this one's great. And it made a ton. Like I said, I wasn't super hungry, so I probably ate less than what a portion would have been. But it's great. I mean, I'm sure it's going to last me like a soup would for the rest of the Mary's Mini. So it felt good. There's two days left, and I don't feel like there's a problem at all. My weight's gone down, so that's interesting too. I haven't had any cravings for snacks. So, so far, so good. Two days left. As you probably saw from yesterday's video, the bathroom scale sucks at showing up on my camera, so I just weighed myself. And uh, I'd love to lie, but I'm about back up to uh, 185.2, so 1.2 pounds overnight. I don't understand this diet. I don't understand the weight fluctuations. I also did a big workout yesterday, a muscle workout, so maybe my muscles are retaining fluid. This whole thing is bizarre to me. But uh, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> So for breakfast, I'm just gonna throw together a really simple thing. I'm gonna roast some baby potatoes, steam some vegetables, slop on some salsa and nutritional yeast. And that's gonna be breakfast. Yay! So after breakfast and after my shower, I felt a little off. My workout didn't go great this morning. I felt tired throughout it. I switched from this uh, hit workout to just uh, power yoga. And that seemed to be okay, but I was definitely 
lacking energy. I also haven't given myself like a full rest day from workout, so I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Ah, day nine. One more day to go after this. I can do it, I can do it. So out of sheer boredom and kind of a challenge for my kids, I'm gonna to try to make a potato cookie. So I'm gonna take spices that I would normally use for like carrot cake and throw some shredded carrot in as well. Basically what I did is I made mashed potatoes. I used two russet potatoes. I steamed them in the air fryer for six minutes and then I just mashed them with water. If I wasn't on the Mary's Mini, I would probably mash them with something like oat milk or almond milk just to make them a slightly bit sweeter. I put in two teaspoons of cinnamon powder, one teaspoon of nutmeg, and a healthy pinch of cloves. Mix that all together. Put in a cup of shredded carrot. One carrot did it. Then I scooped it under a third of a cup measurements. I wet my hands to help flatten the patties out a bit more and just to get them flat. Putting them in the fridge for an hour just to get them to firm up a little bit so that they'll hold the shape better. And then we're gonna air fry them. We're gonna try air frying them at 390 for 10 minutes and see where that gets us. I want them to be crispy and hard, that's for sure. So uh, I'll let you know how that turns out. So for lunch, I'm just gonna reheat uh, the soup that I made last night. It actually got thick, so it's more like a doll now, that curry, which is still tasty. Uh, and the cookies looked crisp, but I think I'm gonna make them super crisp. We're gonna put them for another five minutes in the air fryer. I still don't imagine they're gonna taste good, but my family wants to try them. They're gonna hate them. Hey, what do you guys think? I have not tried them. What do you think? Oh, mommy's going for it. Me too. Just put it back. Oh. Oh. Mm. Not that bad. It gets worse the more you chew it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try it now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's it's pretty bad. It's about as bad as I thought it would be. I bet you if you put some maple syrup on this, it wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, but that's, do, do that it was for a, April Fool's joke. April Fool's joke. You can make, yeah, because they look pretty good. No, I want something else. You can I tell someone this is like an oatmeal no. cookie of some I kind, and they probably else. believe it. Yeah. Then you have proof. Ugh. Failed experiment. So I'm just keeping it simple for dinner again. I decided to make my fries since my second last night. I couldn't resist making those fries one more time. And then just some beets, uh, cauliflower, and uh, and a salad. That's all I'm gonna do, nice and simple. Day nine was not so bad. Tomorrow's the last day, and uh, I gotta say I'm looking forward to returning to the world of, of regular food. Um, the one thing that was bizarre was my weight went up a fair amount, but again, fluctuation. And I'm starting to think that it's like, I mean, really, I was looking over Dr. Joel Furman's Eat to Live stuff. And I mean, the food I eat is not far off of this. I have a couple nuts and dried fruit and that kind of stuff added in and fruit itself. But you know, I think I'm not far off the way I'm eating now anyway, which is probably why my weight's not shifting. And again, it didn't need to. I was just curious if it would, doing this cleanse. So uh, yeah, all fascinating. So tomorrow's the last day. I got this. I got this so hard. So the bad news is, is that my weight went up to 186, which is pretty much where I started. Um, the good news is I know exactly what happened. I had two big workouts over the last two days with weights, which I hadn't been doing while I was at the farm. And I'm carrying water weight and my muscles are inflamed or something. So. Today is my rest day anyway. I'm just gonna do a little bit of really light yoga just to stretch because I'm also stiff as hell. But uh, I mean, maybe that'll make a difference tomorrow. I'll do a final weigh-in on the morning after day 10. But uh, yeah, again, I'm not plummoxed by it. It's just all part of the experiment. So I'm just having my usual lemon elixir in the morning. It's just hot water with squeezed lemon and about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of turmeric. 
add that every morning. It's a good little detox cleanse to have first thing before you have anything else. Air fryer is whizzing in the background. We're gonna have some roasted baby potatoes, just like yesterday, steamed vegetables. Today I'm gonna put tomato sauce on and some nooch instead of uh, salsa. That's about it. Keeping it simple on the last day. So for lunch, keeping it super simple, I'm just gonna reheat that potato cauliflower curry doll thing that I've been eating. I'm also having just some leftover beets and some peas and carrots. Simple, simple, simple. That's the way I was supposed to be doing it. Um, I was reading up on the Mary's mini Facebook group and they kind of recommend just one potato type, simple, little to no sauces, and one vegetable per meal. I haven't exactly been doing that. I've been making it a bit fancier. I don't think that's what's causing my weight to not go down. I think I didn't really have that much weight to lose to begin with. And also, it's the workout I had and workouts I've been doing, you know, inflammation and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm not really getting myself bent up over it. It's still been an interesting exercise so far. One more meal to go. I'm prepping for my final meal and I've decided to be a little romantic about it. I'm gonna go back to the beginning and have just baked potatoes, nothing added, nothing taken away. Now the first time I did it on day one and for breakfast, I added some salsa and some uh, whole grain mustard. Today I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm just gonna do baked potatoes. I decided to do three. It's about just around 500 calories, I think, if I eat them all. Uh, I'm just gonna have that. I'm not gonna, no, no salt, no pepper, no nothing. Just pure, beautiful potatoes cooked in an air fryer. So how do you cook potatoes in an air fryer? Well, you get them wet, you stabby stabby them a little bit, put them on for 400 degrees for 40 to 50 minutes, check them, and then if you want them to be a little crispier, then do that. But that should be about enough time. So day 10 complete. I feel good overall. I never got sick of potatoes, which maybe tells me I didn't do this properly. I should have maybe made the, the meals a little less fancy so that I would be more mundane and monotonous and ate probably a little bit less. Uh, my weight did not really change according to this morning, but I still have my last weigh in tomorrow morning, so stick around for that. Oh, I'm excited for this. I haven't necessarily been craving sugar the way I thought I might be, but this is my usual breakfast. It's just like a fruit salad with uh, flaxseed, oat milk, and the granola from the website The Game Changers, which is perfect. I can't make it better, so uh, it's just what it is. Oh, I'm excited. I'm gonna try to get everything in this first bite. Mm. That's even better than I thought it was going to be. Oh! It's so nice to have something sweet again. Oh. Now, let's see what the final weigh-in was. So as you can see from my final day 11 weigh-in, it looks like that weight that I had added yesterday was just the inflammation I thought it was with water storing in my muscles. So how do I feel? I feel great. I mean, I also have sugar coursing through my body because of that breakfast. It's not something I, uh, I'm used to. I probably should have eased back into this, but I've been fantasizing about that breakfast for a long time, so screw it. So I'm gonna come back with a proper follow-up video a week from now, two weeks from now, a month from now, just to let you know how I'm doing and if I stayed on track. But I think the immediate benefits from this for me were realizing that, I think I always looked at recipes before or meals and if there wasn't some kind of a bean or a legume or an obvious uh, protein I was like well that's not gonna fill me up and I think I've gotten over that now with this I definitely just ate a bunch of meals over the last 10 days that kept me full and happy I've lost the desire to snack or the need to snack mostly because the snacks I was eating were just things that were almost treaty in nature like muffins or or things like that. So I'm gonna see if that stays up. I'd like to know if that stays up. That'd be great if I could stop snacking and just incorporating those things into my meals. So if I want a muffin, I'll have it as a dessert for lunch. 
thanks for checking out this video. If you've done a mini, let me know in the comments below. Check in, let me know where you're writing from, where you are, uh, what thoughts you had. If you did a mini, if you want me to try a different kind of cleanse, I'm kind of interested in a bunch of different ones. Comment, share, subscribe, do all the things. And thanks for checking out the information on the former Fat Forger.